So the last thing I want to show with masks is how to do a little special effect and what gray does when we have a mask. So I'm going to take these two pictures here, money and Las Vegas, they go together well, right? And I'm going to drop them there into Photoshop. I'm going to use my Arrange Windows button so I can have them both visible at one time. And I'm going to drop one of them on top of the other. They're the same size. Okay, so I'm going to cover it up and let me drop, let me get rid of that picture. So you can see in my layers panel here that I have uh, two layers. They're the, exactly the same size, one on top of the other. And I'm going to put a mask on this top layer. And we, we've learned so far that uh, black used on a mask will hide the pixels on the layer. Okay. And the opposite, of course, would be white, um, which shows the pixels on the layer. Uh, but what does gray do? Well, it depends on how dark the gray is. If you've got, say, a 90% uh, gray, the, the layer would then be 90% see-through. 10% uh, gray would be 10% see-through. So, of course, a gradient will fade between black, white, and every shade of gray in between. So if I get a gradient, and it's black to white, um, and I paint my gradient on my uh, layer mask here, click and drag, and it's going to fade from one to the other. Okay, so um, I can do a short one, okay, or I can go long, do the whole image there, and I've then used a layer mask to blend these two pictures together in an interesting way. Let me show you some student work here. Um, this young artist, she took a photograph of herself um, out in the hallway. She made a selection of herself, used a mask to uh, then, uh, then uh, mask her out of the brick wall background from the hallway. She did a little drawing then. I think she actually did this in Photoshop, or she may have drawn it by hand and scanned it. Um, it's just a little sketchy gestural drawing that you might do in drawing class. Uh, but she made it fit exactly to the photo. And then she used this layer mask blend uh, to blend between the original photograph and the, the drawing. Our photo on Edline is the same thing. OK, turn that on here. And uh, this was done, she's um, since gone on, but she was uh, a freshman when she did this. So you can see where she's faded together these three photographs. The three photographs, this being Starry Night by Van Gogh, and then a Da Vinci drawing, and then an actual night sky photograph. And then layer mask blends, like we just showed with the Vegas and the money, uh, between the three. And of course, she cut herself out using a mask here. She painted on some things and she put some words on here. So even though we're not done with our Photoshop lessons, you've already learned a lot of the skills that it would take um, to uh, make an image like this. It's just up to your creativity and the things that you do with the tools that we've learned.